There is a thin and fragile line between life and death. When people violently step across this line, it changes things forever. Sometimes, grown-ups make bad decisions. These decisions may result in life-changing losses for children. Four-year-old Rashid sits across from me. He's cute in his blue jeans and bright white t-shirt and drawing a picture with crayons of his father shooting his pregnant mother. He looks to me and asks, why did my dad kill my mom? He expects me to answer that? The truth is, I somehow expect me to be able to answer that. Actually, for the first couple of years, I tried to tell children what to do and what to expect to answer those questions, but that didn't really help. I look down at Rashid and think about the way he asked the question, how it wasn't just rhetorical. And for the first time, I don't answer at all because I don't have the answer. But then, in the weeks ahead, his drawings and stories change in such a way that tells me he is starting to answer those questions for himself. Day after day I hear, why did my baby sister have to die? I sit and listen. My mommy hurts me. I sit and listen. My daddy had to go away forever. I sit and listen. It's amazing to me that children are able to find their way in the shadow of such loss. But they do. And sometimes, just being there allows them to do just that.